Hi, my name's Consume the Burger. In Sea of Thieves and every other game with customization, certain types of players tend to gravitate towards certain things. Eventually, if enough of one kind of player uses a specific cosmetic, a stereotype forms for that item. This video is about what the curse you use says about you, and what the curses other people use say about them. Before I begin, I need to clarify a few things. Not everyone fits your stereotype, and you might be different from other people. Stereotypes can change over time as well. If you look at the older Curse Stereotypes video done by me, you'll notice it's very different from this one. It's also missing the Golden Skelly stereotype, but due to popular demand and the video it appears in becoming partially outdated, I'll be including it in here even though it technically isn't a curse. Also, don't be that guy who types hate comments if they don't like what I said about their favorite curse. With that being said though, if you disagree with me, let me know. I want to hear your experiences with other players using XYZ curse. Just remember to be civil. Like and subscribe, join the Discord, and without further ado, enjoy! Because about a third of the player base doesn't use a curse, these guys can be one of two people. One is a brand spanking new Swabby who is probably on their first, second, or third voyage. The other person is that one dude who owns every cosmetic regardless of whether or not they like it. They also despise the Ashen Curse. These players try to be good at PvP, but fall flat on their face. 9 times out of 10 they're going to shoot first, and 9 times out of 10 they're going to be at the bottom of the ocean after the fight. You're the emo kid of the Sea of Thieves, and will often wear one other Order of Souls item, or at least black and purple clothes if you're not a high enough level yet. You're pretty chill most of the time. Your game sense is almost as bad as your fashion sense. You're also the first person to pipe up in voice chat and will always make a fool of yourself when you do. Even though you buy Emporium costumes practically every session, it hasn't once crossed your mind that the Stinktide one would work with your glowing blue and purple skin. I personally don't like the Sunken Curse, but it looks absolutely fantastic with that outfit. Nobody uses this. The curse was popular for about two weeks and then everyone just stopped using it because they got the level 90 variant. Speaking of which... The Solid Stone Curse, aka the Gorgon Curse, the Weeping Angel Curse, the Dark Adventurer Curse, the High as a Plane off of Zaza Curse, you get the idea, is the white sales of curses except no cheaters use this because they would have to buy the plunder pass with real money. When I say that it's like diaper sales, I mean that it's only used by new players and PvPers who do not care about fashion at all. There is no mercy. You bought this because you're lazy and can't be bothered to actually earn a curse. You justify this by saying that they're just cosmetics and they have no value. Yep. Sure, buddy. Sure. Don't lie, you got this from playing only on Community Weekends. This guy is just as much of a tryhard as an Ashen Kid, except slightly better because they actually learnt how to PvP, unless they dice rolled or ran. Don't be fooled by their curse though, they are very killable and will mess up once or twice per fight, often leaving an opportunity for you to blast their ship to smithereens. Skeletons are an incredibly mixed bag. I made a whole video about the stereotypes for different skeleton cosmetics, and even though the golden and crimson bone stereotypes have changed, I still recommend you check it out. Broadly speaking, these people are often sweaty reaper emissaries who have a bit of an inflated ego from their lack of flesh. If a ghost and a skeleton curse had a child, it would be this player. They're often teenagers who act like hot stuff when they win a fight and go through the five stages of grief when they lose. They are not friendly, and they are not open to negotiation. If they see a ship, they will beeline towards it with their intentions loud and clear, in the form of a couple long-range pot shots. Despite their aggression like no other player, a good 50% of these guys didn't get the PL curse through Hourglass, which is pretty funny. The only exception to the stereotype is the people who use it with a funny blue hat. Those guys are the Twitter users, and their entire personality is centered around Sea of Thieves. They're not hostile 100% of the time, though. These guys rarely play the game anymore, but when they do, they're probably just TDMing or getting hourglass levels at a snail's pace. They say they'll eventually get back to the Sea of Thieves, but they're too hooked on faster-paced games and shooters. They often wear a black outfit. You said that you'd never do a single hourglass match again once you got level 1000, but we all know you're addicted to the game mode regardless of how long overdue it is for an update. 
Come on, Rare. Do it sometime this decade. Yes, I am using this meme again. So, uh, what cosmetics would you like to use? I'll wear uh, a bucket on my head and nothing else. How original. Oh, also sailor weapons and guild distinction cosmetics on my boat. Daring today, aren't we? If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of these, good news. I have a playlist of seven other stereotypes videos, as well as the older version of this one. Also, I'm really close to monetization, and it would mean a lot to me if you liked the video and subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching, have a good one, y'all. See you later.